Harry Potter's cloak of invisibility may not be a thing of fiction anymore. A British Columbia company says it has developed a fabric that creates the illusion of invisibility. And it says the military has expressed a lot of interest. Global BC's Ted Chernecki reports. This small fabric printing facility in a Vancouver suburb has been making big news of late. Here they print camouflage for military and outdoor clothing. The business has gone from zero to about 12,000 uniforms using various patterns worldwide. Owner Guy Kramer, a self-confessed inventor, stumbled upon his skill out of frustration with Canadian tax dollars being, he thought, misspent. So I basically posted a website critiquing what I had seen as a taxpayer and, and showing what I could do in two hours in a, in a $100 graphics program. Each one of his patterns fit a certain environment, this one to blend a tactical team in urban settings. His design work appears on hunting garments as well. Deer, for example, can't see certain colors. With the colors and the pattern in there actually confusing the deer to the point that they don't see any anomaly whatsoever. Uh, they're not spooking when they see the hunter. But his biggest invention is top secret. He claims to have stumbled upon the very fabric of which fantasy stories are made of. He claims the famous invisibility cloak of Harry Potter fame is soon to be a reality. This is something they could actually fold up in their pocket and bring it out when they needed, or they could actually make it into their uniform. Uh, it doesn't operate on a power source. Uh, it uh, doesn't use cameras. It doesn't use mirrors. Uh, and there's no r instruction manual for it. Put it on and it works. Only a few top military types have seen his light bending technology. His website shows a few mock-up examples claiming the real product hides 95% of what would otherwise be visible. The security implications are enormous should his technology get in the wrong hands. So he's under strict orders to show no one his invention until negotiations are complete with the Canadian government. So all we can do is give you an approximation. Ted Chernecki, Global News, Vancouver.